Amy Peterson is a DevOps engineer who just joined a new organization remotely. She received her company laptop in the mail last week, and she's ready to get to work in her home office. Whether your users work in the office or remotely, you need to give them secure access to their corporate resources. JumpCloud is a comprehensive cloud directory platform to manage user identities, their access to resources, and the devices they work on. From JumpCloud's web-based admin portal, you can import and create user identities, provision users to virtually all resources, and configure their devices, whether it's Mac, Windows, or Linux. You don't need any on-premise hardware, so you can stand up your JumpCloud directory and onboard and offboard users from anywhere in the world. Let's take a look at end-to-end -end user onboarding for Amy. Here is JumpCloud's admin portal, where we've configured a directory integration with G Suite. You can also configure directory integrations with Microsoft 365, Active Directory, and HRIS systems like Workday. We've already given Amy an account in G Suite, so her bosses could begin sending her documents prior to her start date. So we'll simply import her now in JumpCloud. She appears in JumpCloud in an inactive state, which gives us control over when we trigger her user account to be active. This also means, ultimately, that JumpCloud can be the password authority for her Google account, as well as her other assigned resources. We can either send her an email to set her password or set a temporary password. Here, we'll give Amy a temporary password, which she can change at her first login. Now that Amy has a JumpCloud user account, she needs access to her resources. As mentioned, she's a DevOps engineer, so she needs a wide array of tools, some of which are privileged. We'll grant her access simply by adding her to the appropriate user group. We'll add her to the DevOps prod group, which instantly grants access to apps like AWS and Slack using the SAML and SKIM protocols. We'll also grant her access to networks authenticated by JumpCloud's Cloud Radius, some of which have MFA turned on and some of which do not, as well as LDAP-backed resources like Jenkins and Atlassian Jira. Additionally, her group membership grants her access to things like Microsoft 365 and G Suite and other SAML-based applications, including Datadog, GitHub, Zoom, Slack, and Meraki too. Next, we'll provision her to her computer. Amy has requested a MacBook, though she had a choice of a Mac, Windows, or Linux laptop. We can see her MacBook here as green and active in the admin portal because we've already downloaded the JumpCloud agent on it. The JumpCloud agent is the mechanism we use to control user access and configure and remotely manage devices, no matter where they're located. Our MDM and management features create the device's security posture, including delivering custom configuration profiles, requiring multi-factor authentication, enforcing full disk encryption, and enacting a screensaver lockout timer. With JumpCloud, you can control remote Mac, Windows, and Linux machines similarly through a single pane of glass. Now, we'll toggle to Amy's view, what she sees as an employee. After she's logged in for the first time, she can use the JumpCloud application installed by the agent natively in her Mac OS toolbar to set her new password. The application will write that password change back to JumpCloud, and it will be reflected to all connected resources, including her MacBook, G Suite, Microsoft 365 account, and more. From this machine, she can enter her JumpCloud user portal one-click passwordless authentication. She can then automatically view and access her connected resources. This includes AWS, where she jumps into the role that gives her access to all of EC2, and then she gets to work. The portal also gives her the place to upload her public SSH keys used for when she terminals into her Linux servers in AWS. In a matter of minutes, we've created Amy's JumpCloud account, granted her access to her resources, and changed her core password. She didn't have to ask for access to anything, and much of her onboarding happened through her group membership. 
From one console, you can create new users, provision them to the resources they need to do their jobs, and configure their devices, no matter where those users, resources, or devices are located. Create a JumpCloud account for unlimited access to the platform for up to 10 users and 10 devices. Click this link to try it free at jumpcloud.com.